honey buns welcome back it's me jenny okay guys my project is complete and so i wanted to show you guys my complete project that i did um i showed you guys earlier how i stored my stickers and how i wasn't happy with how they were storing and so and so um I changed some things and I'm gonna link the at the bottom of this video I will link the part one to this video so you guys can you know uh, basically know what I'm talking about so I finished I completed my binder very excited and very happy how it came out um, on this side over here I have like a pocket right here this book is really big so it's kind of hard to show I have a pocket right here and what I did was I just put some extra stickers that I have okay and then in here this is like a goodie bag I put some um like leftover uh alpha and um I just put it in a little goodie bag so that they're not you know everywhere and then I just apply a little bit of washi tape on top just so that it can stay secured and closed okay so um the inside of my I'm sorry for the uh Hold on, what's going on outside? No, it's not here, sorry. <laughs> I thought it was something going on outside, but the, obviously the cops just kept going. Okay, so, <clears throat> sorry for that. That wasn't supposed to be recorded, but hey, what are you gonna do? Okay, so this is how this looks. Um, I did all my alphas and I stored them all. I didn't do anything as far as color, coordination, or nothing like that because to be honest with you, I really don't care. I mean, I, I, I just flip through and whatever I like, I'll grab. So to me, color coordination means nothing. Um, I adhere them at the back with some of this um, tape runner. On some stickers, it was very hard to use this. So all I did was I just used double-sided tape and that kind of helped. Um, on others, it was very hard to use both the runner and the double sided tape so I just went and I started using my little washi tape and I will show you what I mean by that okay so this is how this looks this is the first two pages and then um, I had dupes of of these so I just um, kept them here this is the second this is the other ones these are the black ones and I'm sorry if I'm off frame but this book is gigantic so here, let me move a little bit this way okay this is um more alphas and then for these these are um like like glitter or i don't know i guess you would call glitter alphas and and this one i used the washi tape in the four corners because i couldn't put tape on the back of this because this is kind of plastically so the tape didn't hold well so I just decided to just use um, some washi tape and I just put four little washi pieces of tape in each corner and it's it's perfect and it looks actually pretty nice okay so then I did the same thing with this one for the ones that come in these little um, plastic linen uh, whatever you call these I don't know what you call these these little plastically things it's very hard to adhere with tape or um, double-sided tape so washi tape will be your best friend for these kind of stickers okay so i applied washi tape on this one i applied some washi tape on this one as well because these are um pretty heavy so i i wanted to put the washi tape so i wanted to make sure that it doesn't fall apart okay and then these are my um what are these called simple stories they come in this little container this little package by the way um i'm gonna be like off topic right now i'm i decided to do a junk journal and what i'm doing now is i'm writing a list for you guys um because i wanna do a junk journal using recycled um items i'm not buying anything new for this junk journal i'm gonna use everything that i have at home um, I'm going to recycle whatever I have and I'm going to start um, putting that, that, um, that journal together. So 
the reason why I'm mentioning that to you guys is because I'm going to be coming up with another video very soon, which is going to be extremely long. I'm warning you right now, it'll be long because I have a list of tons of things that, um, that we're going to use to decorate our journals okay and it's all recycled things stuff okay stuff that you don't even know that you have at home that you can use but the reason why i'm mentioning this to you is because when you start doing this if if you decide to do um this method don't throw away these little card these little um things that come the sticker comes in because you can use this for your um junk journal you can actually just trim this out here trim this out here and that's a perfect perfect background for your um junk journal okay so make sure you keep these don't throw them out this is going to be one of the things that i'm going to show you among millions of things that i have on my list to show you and the same thing with these see these are the letter hold that these are the letters that came in um you can definitely use this for your junk journal and you can also use the back look how pretty that back is wouldn't that be beautiful on one of the art journal pages so make sure that if you guys um are doing this method don't throw these little packaging away okay because you're going to need them for um our next project okay all right so let me keep showing you this um my um alpha sticker book all right so i mean it's really basically just there's really not no rhyme reason nothing you know i mean it's very simple and easy to do um these i had tons of so i decided to put them all in the pages this is one set and this is another set okay now for this ones i decided to keep these in the um the the plastic inserts because these are velvet stickers and so because they're velvet it kind of like rubs on and it can, it kind of gets like a little dusty if i don't um put any protection on it so i decided to just keep these in these little um clear inserts just to maintain its you know its way it is i didn't want it to get all um you know all washed out or or um just messed up because again this is velvet and and velvet can you know with the rubbing of other of each other it can really um turn out messy okay so i did that for these these are all the ones that you're seeing here they're all velvet so that's why i did that okay and that's that's what i did with my alphas um for my rub-ons um i have them in the back oh there's more alphas here See these? Oh, these are the, the, oh, by the way, these are the ones that I was telling you guys, the, the taller ones. Um, I decided to just take a couple of the pages from the watercolor pad and I just adhere them to the pages, okay? So this is the taller ones that I mentioned to you guys earlier in the video, okay? And this one. So the next section is my rub-ons. Um, I don't have a lot. I have a few but i kept them in these little plastically plastic um, plastic folders and they look nice and neat i have more space to put more rub-ons if i wanted to back here and um and yeah that's basically it that's how this came out i'm very 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 happy how my um uh, my my alpha um binder came out it's to me, it's so easy and so um, just visual and easy to just pick whatever you want. You know, you want to make yourself um, be able to, you know, grab whatever you want in an easy way. You don't want to make things more difficult for you, right? Especially if you're if you're doing if you're art journaling or if you're scrapbooking. I mean, you want things easy and you want things, you know, to reach everything on, you know. In the reaching area you don't want to just have things and then it makes it difficult for you to reach it because then if it makes it difficult for you to reach it then you're not going to want to take it out so you're not going to use it you're going to have it sitting there forever we don't want that we want to use everything that we have all right guys so and this is how it's not even that thick you see that it's not even that thick but it is um it is you know in a good um it's a good amount 
and I can still store more stuff in here if I want to okay so I have to work on my other stickers that I need to um, do I have a disaster with those because I have so many of um, so many stickers so I'm I think what I'm gonna do with those I'm gonna put them in section I want to put a Kamata Stewart section on the binder um, maybe like an animal section, a baby section, a wedding, you know, just um, do sections at a time. And I think that's probably the best way to get um, that binder organized. But that's going to take me a while because I have a lot of stickers. So I hope this is helpful. Um, stay tuned, guys. I'm going to bring you a, another video with recycling things for your junk journal you do not want to miss it i have tons of things that i want to show you um and hopefully you guys can um learn from it okay all right my honey buns i will see you soon on my next video bye